Hello Yorktown, I'm student meteorologist Gavin. It's right around one o'clock and as you can see from the parking lot behind me, we're currently experiencing clear skies. The current temperature is 49 degrees and it appears to be a perfect day to stay inside and watch TV. Tonight and leading into early morning, you expect to see heavy showers. As always, have yourself a wonderful day and let's take it back to the studio. Hi, my name is Cameron and here are some jokes to remember the next time you're in a situation to tell some jokes. What did one plate say to the other plate? Dinner is on me. Why did the student eat his homework? Because the teacher told him it was a piece of cake. Join us again for some more jokes tomorrow, and until then, let's take it back to you in the studio. Hello, my name is Ava, and today's true or false topic is ice cream. Let's see if you can figure out which statements are true or false. The tallest ice cream cone was four feet tall. False, it was actually over nine feet tall. California produces the most ice cream in America. True. Sprinkles are the world's most popular ice cream topping. False. It's actually chocolate syrup. Thanks for watching today's True or False. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Hi, my name is Melanie and welcome to the segment dedicated to improving your, your vocabulary, the word of the day. Today's word is elaborate. Elaborate is a verb. Elaborate is defined as involving many arranged parts of detail. Complex and baffling are synonyms for elaborate. In a sentence, elaborate can be used like this. My friend likes to elaborate a lot on her projects. Elaborate, can you use it today? Let's see if you can figure out which statements are true and false. Oh, I messed it up. And here are some jokes to remember the next time you're in. A handball is called only when someone uses. Ugh. You can see from the parking lot behind me, we're clear. Today's true or false topic. <laughs> segment dedicated to improving your vocabulary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of addition and. That's all for. While at String Middle School and out in the community, we strive to be safe, responsible, and respectful. In the spirit of this, we wanted to explore the following. How do you earn someone's trust? Let's see what some students at MESMS have to say. Be nice and be a good friend. You can earn someone's trust by being nice and not lying to them. You can earn somebody's trust by talking to them. I think to earn somebody's trust, um, you need to be honest and not tell any lies. To earn someone's trust, you should be nice to them and tell them like the truth. To earn someone's trust, you could be friendly and kind. To earn someone's trust is to always have their back and be kind to them. You can probably earn someone's trust by doing something like keeping their secrets. You can earn somebody's trust by always being by their side. I could earn someone's trust by being nice. Great job, kids. Now let's go to Penelope with Today in History. Hello, my name is Penny, and I'm going to share some facts and events that took place on this day in history. On this day in the year 1788, almost the entire city of New Orleans was destroyed by a fire. Based on this event, we're going to focus today's facts on fire. About 100,000 wildfires happen every year. Earth is the only known planet where fire can burn. There's a look back in time for March 21st. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks, kids. Do you like animals? We were wondering if you had to describe yourself as an animal, which animal would you be and why? Let's see what the kids in the hall have to say. If I were an animal, I would call myself a lion because I think I'm brave. And also, I think I might not be a lion because I think I'm also pretty smart, so I can outwit someone in a situation. If I would be an animal, I would be a bird so I can fly everywhere. Gorilla because they're strong. I would describe myself as a rabbit because I'm energetic. If I was an animal, I'd be a dolphin because I like the beach. A squirrel because I'm small. I would describe myself as a sloth because I'm very lazy. If I could be any animal, I would be a monkey because they get to climb around. If I could be an animal, I would want to be a horse because then I could just run around all day and not have to do like anything else. 
Hello, my name is Anna, and today I'll be participating in the paper bag challenge. Let's see what today's build challenge is. You are a spider and your best friend is a bee. You really want to fly around with your bee friend, but of course you can't fly. Create a way you can join your best friend bee in the air. So I made like an airplane kind of, so the bee will sit, sit, I meant the spider will sit in here and then they could like drive with this and then they could fly too. That's all from today's paper bag challenge. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks kids. Now let's go to Nora with the lesson of the day. Good afternoon. My name is Nora and today's lesson is for math class. Today in math class we learned about the commutative property. The commutative property tells us that it does not matter which number we add first or multiply first. We also learned that subtracting and dividing are not commutative. That's all from today's lesson. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Thank you.